So Joe's talking about Nora O'Keefe, who had the distinction of being one of the most wanted women in the British Empire at one stage. And that hit Bob, am I right? Well, she was, she was listed as being uh, one of the most dangerous women uh, in Ireland at the time in the British military uh, intelligence report. Um, she lived, she was a stenographer. Uh, she lived in Seafield Road in, in Clontaff for a lot of her years and later years. And she lived there with Margaret Skinner and Tommy Skinner. That's the famous Margaret the famous Skinner. famous Margaret Skinner because when Nora died and when she, the, the cortege came to the house here, they brought her to the house. And Margaret Skinner was, I remember Margaret Skinner coming in here. Go ahead. That was my memory of Margaret Skinner at the time. And her brother Tommy. Yeah. And there was this, now. And where had they brought that cortege from? From Dublin. Which was, she's buried in Kilpatrick. Oh, All right. Yeah, Stone is in Kilpatrick. But they, our home uh, graveyard is, our own graveyard is Kilpatrick. Because four, there are four O'Keeffe's that came here, I think, in the 1700s. And they were evicted from someplace in Cork, I think. So the four of them married around here, or lived here. I think this is Cockham's at one stage, going back before 1780. Yeah. And he so married... That's where the trouble's coming from, so Cork, as oh. usual. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure now. That's, that's what we've learned going back. Yeah, yeah. They married Tipperary women as well. So Nora was, that was Nora's involvement. She was very, very involved then. Uh, she was a quiet lady, she never married, um, but I remember her coming down here and she used to have coffee beans at the time. I didn't even know what they were, I didn't even know what coffee was. Mm. So, you know, she was a very nice person and uh, she had only one eye. She lost an eye in an accident when she was young and it was reported that she lost the eye from trying to open a shoelace with a fork. Oh my God. Which was normal to do at the time, I suppose, you know. And did she ever talk now about the troubles? No, I was too young at the too time. Too young, yeah. I was too young at the time, you yeah. know, uh, to even ask or talk about yeah. anything like that. I know 11 or 12 years of age. You yeah. Were, yeah, 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 yeah. You were very quiet those times, and you yeah, were yeah. told. And you yeah. Just, yeah. Now, lads, you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, um. that's my memory of Nora. Now, Bridget yeah. lived to 74, and Bridget, as I said, married Tom DeWire Matty. Oh, we're going to go down to that house yes, down, show, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, she, down the road. Yes. I was there last weekend, so yes, yeah. Yes. And he walked for, for uh, he walked with De Valera. Yeah, he was De Valera's kind of, was he bodyguard or right hand yes, man? Kind of, yeah. Bodyguard. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah. it a bodyguard or Ed de Camp? Ed de Camp. Yes. I don't know what you call it at the time, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, great history, yeah. 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 So um, the involvement was, was, was good here at the time, as it was strong here. Hmm. And, um, I suppose it's nice even like yourself to come to record those things maybe a lot of people don't know about those things and there are a lot of good people in the area a lot of strong people a lot of people that even not even talked about you know mm. that did an amount of work yeah safe like houses safe and houses yeah and hiding, food, stuff. hiding areas you know yeah uh, so um, a lot of that i think those people that uh, can be remembered as well it's it's good to do that also, it is you know? yeah that's that's that's, that's yeah. a big part of the project what we're doing because without the help of those they wouldn't have been able to fight for this for the freedom that we have today you know yeah. i think that's very important yeah which is nice to walk in the footsteps of them great people like sean tracy ernie o'malley it is you know you come to a place like this and you're just the history is yeah. there and we know they were here and it's yeah. great like, yeah you know? oh, absolutely yeah when you talk about it walking in their footsteps if you don't look at the height of the ground around here they must have been incredibly fit then yeah yeah to be traveling around that under arms yes and, yeah uh, yeah and the valley down there is kind of we were saying where they they're more than likely that most of their hiding was done in the, the guns and stuff. Done, yeah. yeah yeah that's great joe